Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. And today we're going to be reviewing the Odyssey Clutch Coaster. I'm going to give you my personal opinion and my personal experience of over two years of owning this hub twice. Now, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Grayson Roberts. Hit that subscribe button if you're looking for some awesome new merch, some just some new clothes for summer. If you've ever gone out and spent a bunch of money on name brand brands and they didn't fit or they shrink really bad, just go to my website, get some high quality stuff for a good price and support your new favorite YouTube channel. Anyway, let's get into the video. So first off, I'm going to start with the pros of this odyssey clutch coaster oh plants i crushed the flowers all right so here is the hub and the first thing about it is you can adjust the slack whenever you want all you got to do is just slip this greasy little ring around and somewhere around here there's gonna be a little hole and you stick an allen in it and you just adjust the slack right then and there it's actually so convenient to be able to just tighten up or loosen the slack if you're going out for a hard day of street you loosen it up if you're going to ride some trails you tighten it up it's really really simple you just stick it in there it's like the next next best thing as of adjusting slack other than the z coaster but not everybody got like three four hundos to drop on a z coaster and if you like what you hear in this video i will link the odyssey clutch coaster in the description so you can pick it up there but other pros is it's high quality they promise that it had like improved impact points of other places of other free coasters that would break in those places they improved upon they said they said it'll be much harder to break and honestly i have broken it i've broken it twice actually i had one a while ago and i broke it completely done bearings done i probably could have replaced them but i didn't i just bought a new wheel rode it for a long time and then broke another one but i'm still riding it still holding up it's just super like it wiggles back and forth which is normal but it is too much and when you're riding you lean too much it goes kong 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 makes bad noises sometimes when you land it's just messed up the bearings are obviously messed up i could fix them but it's not bad enough to where i need to but honestly it's held up better than any other hub i've ever had in my life it's a great coaster in my opinion even though i have broken it a couple times but everything breaks so you gotta keep that in mind it comes with when you buy it it comes with a plastic hub guard but i bought the i bought the steel one just because it, it, it i kept breaking those little plastic ones that come on it are just bullshit they're not good at all so go ahead and spend some money on a real hub guard when you buy this but now that I think about it, I just did the cons mixed with the pros because I just told you how it breaks. But you know, honestly, it's really smooth. You can adjust the slack. It's a little bit more expensive, but honestly, not that much more expensive than anything else. But I mean, it's a hub, so there's not really much you can say besides its durability and just overall build. So on those, it's, you know, it's pretty durable. I've broken it a couple times. No huge deal. You don't want to break a $200 hub and then have to buy a new one and break it again. That kind of sucks, but... The only bad part is the max slack that you can have is not that much. A lot of people get on my bike and they're like, yo, you need to put some more slack in it. Bro, I did. <laughs> it's maxed out. It's all the slack I could get in it. So it doesn't have that much slack, but you can adjust it. It has broken a couple times. It comes with a shitty hub guard, but I mean, everything breaks. The hub guard, I don't, I don't even know if they sell it with that anymore, honestly, because I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. Other cons is it only comes in black. I wanted this thing in chrome, some cooler colors. Now I bought it with a chrome wheel but that i just i just like chrome hubs it's classy i like chrome hubs what can i say and i couldn't get it pissed off so i had to settle with the chrome rims no big deal it may be kind of windy I, I apologize but i have a thing over my mic it should work anyway kind of a recap over the coaster not a lot of colors it kind of breaks not a lot of slack but you can adjust it it is pretty durable. I know I keep going back and forth saying it's durable, but it breaks, but everything breaks. It just kind of depends on your riding style. I do a lot of tail whips, big drops, other more like banger tricks like that. I mean, and I rode four pegs. I don't now, but I used to. So you, you can, I recommend you guys try it out because my experience has honestly been pretty good. It's been more good than bad. I've had other free coasters, other cassettes, and those have all been worse than the experience I've had with this coaster. So if you're in the market for a new coaster, consider investing in this one it's great honestly the no slack part like there is slack don't get me wrong but there's not too much slack you're not going a half of, or, or a quarter crank you know but shit it's, it's it's great for park and street you get used to it and it actually benefits me it's made me a better rider because i can use pedal pressure and i also have the benefits of a free coaster so it's, it drops like this much which is doesn't seem like a lot to what most people are used to but i got used to it and turned out and ended up liking it better so i'm gonna show you i'm gonna see if i can't capture the kind of noise it makes whenever you lean too much see if i can't give, give you guys the feel for how mine is broken there it is the odyssey clutch oh my jesus christ i hear a bee 
I hear, oh, there's lots of bees all of a sudden. I don't know where it's at, I don't like bees. By the way, I'm reviewing the Odyssey Clutch Coaster 1, version 1. There's a version 2 that I, that, that's, I'm a, I'm a little late, this video's kind of irrelevant, but I don't know, I, 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 I didn't know what else to film. It's Monday, I got home from school, I didn't know what else to film. Hey, by the way, quick disclaimer, if you buy something off of my website, do me a huge favor and pay with anything but PayPal. As of right now, my PayPal is being super weird, holding my funds, not connecting to my bank account. So if you order the new BMX merch, there's actually some new BMX merch. It says, it says just ride like the just do it of Nike, but it's a chain and it's in a loop and it says just ride in the middle. It's actually pretty badass. I'm about the, I'm going to get a whole bunch of merch, you know, obviously for myself. I'm in love with it. But if, if you order anything off the website, first of all, thank you. Second of all, use anything but PayPal, please. If you have to use PayPal, that's fine. But uh, all right. I'm going to try to capture the weird sound that it makes, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to, so listen closely, turn your volume up, hit that subscribe button, like the video, feel like I was saying something about the, uh, anyway, the version 2 clutch coaster, I'm not reviewing. It's supposed to be better, so I don't know, buy it, tell me how it is, maybe I'll make a video. Anyway. Uh. Ow. Didn't get it to make the noise that it was making, but I did fall really hard on my ass doing a one bar. Oh yeah, thank you guys for 3,000 subscribers, by the way. I'm probably gonna be at like 3,050 by the time this video is up, but we're growing, that's awesome. I'm still as a really small YouTube channel, still kinda just figuring stuff out, growing as much as I can, but 3,000, that's another little milestone on the way to 1 million, 2 million, 10 million. So thank you guys so much. Join the family, hit that subscribe button, also hit the notification button. I come out with unique, inspirational, entertaining content as much as I can. Promise I'm gonna get a haircut, I promise. So thank you guys so much for buying the merch, supporting the channel, commenting and liking every video, watching every video, having your notifications on. Just thank you guys for being here, being some of the earlier members of my journey to the top, to success. Thank you guys so much. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace, yes.